All right, how to root your uh, Droid Bionic. First things first, go to droidforums.net, go into the forums, into the uh, Droid Bionic hacks, and click on the how to root your Motorola Droid Bionic. Scroll down, you're going to obviously want to download the Motorola one-click root, and I just save it to my desktop. And then also, you want to download the Motorola drivers, so you're going to download those as well and save those to your desktop. Now, I've already got those installed, but I'll go over that really quick. Let's see here. Once those have downloaded completely, find them on your desktop. For the drivers, you're going to want to run them and install. Give it a second. I've already got them installed, so next. I agree. Next. And because I already have them installed, I'm not going to install it. You go through it and then close. Then uh, go ahead and delete that if you want. Now you're going to go to the Motorola one click drivers. I use. Uh, WinRAR, just unzip them into a file on your desktop. Whoops. Okay, just uh, whatever you use, just unzip them, and I'm gonna unzip them into the one click. <clears throat> now, next step on your phone, go to settings, applications, and development. This is an almost out of the box. So click on the uh, tab down here, click on settings, applications, and development, and then make sure that USB debugging is on. Then plug your phone in, and uh, the nice thing about the Bionic is you can just go right up here to the no notification bar, slide it down, and USB connection, select that to manage it, and go to charge only. And then, okay. <clears throat> now then, next step. You go back here onto your computer, and you're going to want to run Motorola one -click -root exe. I personally right click on it and click run as administrator. You might have to hold shift to get that to pop up. Then run that. And then here it is. This root and then let's see. Click 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 click. And it is rooting it right now. It's rebooting it and everything's done. I'll go ahead and wait until that's done. And a little bit of fast forward here while it roots it. It'll go ahead and show you what it's doing right here. You'll be able to tell. You'll be able to watch it on the phone down here. So let's just set this up and let it do its thing. And then it'll tell you running exploit two of three. 
and then rebooting again. And now that it's rebooted, it'll do step three. And it will probably reboot one more time. and then press any key to exit. Now, to install the ROM, um, there's a number of ways to get Bionic Bootstrap. The way that I do it, personally, is I just do I downloaded it through the marketplace. Or you can go to Google and search... Let's see. I'm gonna search... Bionic Bootstrap. Generally, I do this on the phone, but because it's rebooting, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you right here. You should just be able to download it somewhere. Let's see here. Sorry, Bionic Bootstrap download, apparently. Uh, let's see here. Download Bionic Bootstrap.apk. You'll save it, transfer it to your phone. Personally, for me, I prefer to download it on the phone. Now, to make sure you're rooted, go here into look for super user. Click that, and that's one way to know. And then run something that requires root which there isn't anything on this phone let me let me see here well you know it's rooted you'll know it's rooted if you've got super user and then you can download the bionic bootstrap straight from the marketplace for two ninety nine i believe just type bionic bootstrap And there it is right at the top for $2.99. Uh, you're supporting the developer if you buy it from the marketplace. That's why I bought it. And you never have to download it again. Or you can just go into the phone's browser and go into Google. And search Google for Bionic Bootstrap. This is my wife's phone, that's why I don't have it available to download through the marketplace. <clears throat> Trick Bionic Bootstrap, droidlife.com, the same exact website that I had pulled up on my computer. And it's going through 3G, so it's going to be kind of slow. Let me turn Wi Fi on. Oh, that's right, I don't have ROM for that.
download Bionic Bootstrap.apk. Let it download. Let me connect to a Wi Fi network. Alright, and once that's done downloading, which now that I've got Wi-Fi it should be quite a bit quicker. Hmm. It seems that switching has messed it up, so let's go back in the browser and just download it again. I guess make sure you have Wi-Fi on to begin with. Huh. My bad. There we go. Oh, look at that. Way faster. Once it's done, just click on it. Install. And open. Bootstrap recovery. Yes. And success and then reboot recovery. And like an idiot I just completely forgot to get the ROM so I'm going to pause here and once it's, I've booted it back up to normal I will show you how to get the ROM ready to be installed. One second.